We're just going to have a look at how simple it is to silver solder uh, some valve gear etches as opposed to the normal soft soldering. This is the silver solder we're using. Uh, this is uh, sold by Cookson's. Uh, this is uh, the easy flow. This is the low melt silver solder. Comes uh, in a syringe with a needle on. It's a paste. Very easy to apply. Um, what we're going to be actually soldering is a reach rod which will go onto uh, the valve gear like that. I don't know if you can see it. That's one I've already uh, done. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. Bear with me. Lost the focus on it. There we go. That's it. And this, well, in fact, all this is silver soldered. Um, but what we're going to do now is just make an, make up another reach rod here. And these are nickel silver laminations straight off uh, straight off a standard fret like this simply snipped off. The only preparation uh, is a quick brush down with wet and dry to, to clean it up and then it's it's ready to go. So I've got two of these ready to go one, two, very very simply uh, we're going to apply some paste to just one of them and this is a silver bearing or uh, an alloy of silver uh, paste like that. So I just put the top on so it doesn't dry out. Like that. Just zoom in again so you can see that. Uh, the camera doesn't find it very well, but there we go. There we go, like that. So that's got some paste on, and we'll just apply the other half to that bit of a fiddle but there we go and just going to put the two halves together and line them up uh, just poke around something down through that make sure those holes are lined up sorry just zoom out so you can see a bit better right now then those are lined up and it doesn't matter if there's a little bit of paste elsewhere now I've got a clevis already bent at one end so we'll put it on the bricks overhanging like that. I'll just make sure it's still lined up and I've just moved that slightly. Now this paste is nice and sticky so it kind of stays where I put it which is really useful. That's pretty good, pretty good. Right. Beautiful. Right. So that's all. Whoops, just moves the camera so we can get a view of that. Bear with me. I said I'd make a video. I didn't say I'd make a very good video. Right, so, and the torch I'm using is any old uh, 
small torch like this. Uh, so we'll just give it a go. Here we go. And all we're doing is we're going to heat it until we see the silver flow. And it's just gone. I've just seen it flow. There we go. And that's it. And that is silver soldered. Now the advantage of this is uh, it's very easy to do. Uh, it's very hard compared to soft solder. Um, so it's much more solid. And of course, if I now choose to soft solder something to it, it isn't going to melt. So that's a, a great bonus. I can touch it as much as I want with a, a soldering iron and it isn't going to go anywhere. Uh, that's a tremendous advantage. Um, like, for instance, um, if we have a look at uh, these crossheads um, that are silver soldered here, uh, not to mention uh, the slide bars to uh, the cylinder end covers. These are all silver soldered joints, which meant that when I soldered uh, the cylinder end covers onto the cylinder assembly, there was no danger of anything coming unsoldered. Similarly, this pin, this uh, anchor link pin, uh, was silver, whoops, you can't see, uh, was silver soldered uh, to uh, the uh, bottom of the crosshead. Uh, you really can't see that awfully well, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, uh, there's a very, very small fine pin here, which is only sort of 0.7 mil diameter, and that's silver soldered to the bottom of the crosshead. Um, and the advantage of that is, apart from being absolutely solid, um, it's uh, not going to come unsoldered when I come to uh, solder a little bush on the end to restrain the anchor link. Um, the other thing about silver soldering is it flows very, very nicely into the joint uh, by capillary action and it tends to take uh, much less cleaning up than soft soldering, I find. So there, there you go. Uh, so all the valve gear uh, on this model, which is a Garrus, is in consequence going to be silver soldered. And one silver soldered reach rod link. Very easy, very quick. And I shall be popping that in the ultrasonic cleaner uh, just to clean. Uh, most of the muck off and then just uh, dress up the burrs as you would normally and there you go nice job done um, but uh, much less painful for me than soft soldering also incidentally when you're cleaning it up uh, it doesn't pin up the needle file like soft solder does so it's much kinder on the tools Silver soldering, very, very easy, nothing to be frightened of. I've just uh, smeared some silver solder paste on either end of this new joint we're about to make, which is the anchor link to combination lever. And we're simply going to bring a flame to it and sweat this joint. And it's going to be as quick as this. Watch this. Here we go. Heating it up. And there we go, it's flashed. And uh, it was as simple as that. Here we go, and as you can see, the joint still articulates. It's too hot for me to touch, but um, the joint is made there and there on both sides. And in just a second, I will snip the ends off and dress the ends up because this too is uh, a flush 
joint according to photos but that articulates absolutely fine and it really was as simple as that.